cut of the bank job. Okay, what's next? Something big. Crimson Ghost will give you the dope himself. I sent for you, Ash, because tomorrow is the day for which I've been waiting, for which my carefully prepared plans have been laid. Tomorrow morning at the university, Professor Chambers will demonstrate his cyclotron, a device which is designed to detect and repel any atomic bomb attack. Now, he intends to turn his invention over to the government, but I shall seize the machine before he has a chance to make this patriotic gesture. Unless you intend to sell the machine to a foreign government, I don't see why you want it. Because in my hands, the cyclotrode will become the most powerful offensive weapon in the world. It will instantly stop any electrically controlled mechanism, destroy lighting and power systems, paralyze the activities of the police. The resulting panic and terror will leave the city open to unlimited blackmail and extortion. How are you going to get this machine? That should not be difficult. The demonstration is taking place before the scientific members of the university faculty. And since I am one of its professors, naturally I shall be present. You understand, gentlemen, that this model of my cyclotrode has a comparatively short range. But a full-size machine will have a range of hundreds of miles and we'll be able to locate and destroy any atomic bomb or similar device long before it reaches an effective striking position. I need hardly tell you that this is a confidential demonstration and that no word of what you see or hear must go beyond this room. Professor Chambers, do you mind explaining just how this power is generated? I'm afraid I haven't the right to do that, Anderson, even among my trusted colleagues. It's three o'clock, Dr. Chambers. Thank you. I will contact Professor Richards, my assistant and collaborator in this invention. Duncan Richards? I thought he went in for scientific crime detection. Well, that's true. He is the criminologist responsible for protecting the secrets of government atomic research. But he is also one of the outstanding physicists in the country. You understand, I have no idea from what location he will launch the model airplane. Calling Duncan Richards. Calling Duncan Richards. Yes, Professor Chambers? We are ready. You may launch the plane. At what, sir? unsuccessful. This is the crucial moment, gentlemen. Watch the screen carefully. back to the university and make my report. Amazing uh, change. I think it's yes, very comforting indeed. I haven't felt so safe since before the bomb fell on Hiroshima. Oh, you're very kind, gentlemen, but any honors must be equally shared with Professor Richards. Nice work, Chambers. Nice work. Uh, when do you plan starting work on the larger model? Well, after tomorrow, the whole thing will be in the hands of the government. And now, if you'll excuse me, gentlemen, Miss Farnsworth will summon you here again when Duncan returns. Oh, thanks. Sure, 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 sure,
Shall I transcribe these notes, Dr. Chambers? Yes, my dear, and I'll call you when Duncan arrives. I'd like to investigate the one. I think there's quite an up later. I'm rather busy right now. This won't take much of your time. What's the meaning of this? It's all right, Professor. Hand me that box. We're taking it with us. Psychotrode is useless now. Proceed with your murder. that easy, Professor. You built that machine and you can build another one for us. Come on. this riot, Richards? Who is this man? There were two men. They were after the cyclotrode. What is that thing on his neck? That's what I was wondering. He's coming around. Maybe he'll tell us what it is, as well as who sent him for the cyclotrode. Look, there's a skull on that thing. What's that? What have I done? I don't know. The man is dead. Cyclotrode. It's smashed. This is a major catastrophe. I smashed it myself to prevent their getting it. And it's not a catastrophe. There's a duplicate machine in the strong room at the bonded warehouse. It'll be safe there until the government calls for it. Oh, that's marvelous, James. Congratulations. 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 Chambers intercepted and taken to the underground workshop. Keep him there until I arrive. What is this place? Who owns it? The Crimson Ghost will be here soon. He'll answer your questions. Associates as the Crimson Ghost. 
But in my other personality, however, I am one of your select little group of scientists at the university. This has enabled me to follow more or less closely your work on the cyclotrode. <laughs> you cannot pierce my disguise. And this mask contains a microphone which distorts my voice. Listen. I must have possession of your duplicate cyclotrode at once. If you want to save your life... Don't threaten me. You know that machine was made for the government. And I won't turn traitor to save my life. Not voluntarily, perhaps. But I have means of obtaining the information. And even your help in taking the machine from the warehouse. Remember the man who died in the conference room? He wore a collar similar to this. Those who wear my collar relinquish their own willpower and become my slave. And I alone can remove the collar without causing your instant death. Nonsense. I will first inject the drug, which will destroy your willpower. so soon, Professor. I understood you were leaving the case with us for some time. Uh, so did I. Change of plans. Introduce your companion. This is Mr. Sherman of the War Department. He'll take charge of the consignment. I see. Just sign here, Professor. Get Professor Chambers' case from the vault. He'll identify it for you. Chambers has disappeared. Disappeared? When? The police just phoned. They found his car abandoned on Dyke Road. It showed signs of a struggle. I can't understand it. They smashed the cyclotrode. The cyclotrode? They must have learned of the existence of the duplicate model. But that's safe in the bonded warehouse. It's not safe while they hold Chambers and can force him to get it for them. I'll have to warn the warehouse people not to release it to anyone. Duncan Richards speaking. The professor's here now to claim the case. But I thought he acted a little strange. There's a government man with him. Delay them on any pretext till I arrive. I'll be there in about five minutes. Chambers is at the warehouse. up in our strong room consignments. I can't let anything go out until we've checked. We have nothing to do with your mix-up. I represent the government, and this is government business. I presume you have your credentials. Why, of course. 
Here they are. All six of them. Get them up. You too. Get inside. Unlock that door. Now get in there, both of you. Duncan Richards. What's up, Chambers? Stop it. 